Let's explore Marrakesh on Jummah, a Friday, in a Muslim country. Usually, Jummah in a Muslim country means that the country is mostly shut down, especially around the afternoon time. So I'm gonna just kind of show you what the vibes are like. It's definitely more quiet here in Marrakesh, as you can see. This road would usually be really bustling at this time, but because it's a Friday, it's not as booming, and I kind of like it. This place is almost unrecognizable compared to when I came here at night in my last video or even during the day because it's Juma, it's just like you, it's so empty it doesn't even feel like the same souk uh, I, English? you speak? yes? Uh, do you have like a breakfast? food? Manger? what do you have? I have this like a paratha <laughs> uh, like uh, crepe rice, crepe. Uh, yes. And you have egg? Egg, I have, uh, no, I have uh, with chocolate and... Uh, honey? Honey. Ah, and... And uh, tea. Tea? Tea. Tea? Okay, can I have this one? Yes. With uh, some honey. Yes. And uh, Moroccan tea, please. Yes. Thank you so much. With the... Uh, uh, huh? With the... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Arabi shwe shwe me. Sugar? In the cha? Yes. Cha, yeah. Yes, you test Okay, okay, I try. What what's your shop name? Shop? Yeah, this shop name. This one? Okay. So I'm stopping before I head over to Juma for prayer. Uh, I'm gonna eat from this lady. She has a like a stand where she's selling some crepes and some tea. Very local kind of spot. I just showed you the name. It's called Spoon Sportini. Uh, without without oil. Without oil, this one. This one. Uh, and the with oil is that one. That with oil and uh, 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 butter. Okay, sure. I like oil and butter. It's good. <laughs> What's your name? It's Wafa. Wafa. Shukran Wafa. Uh, nice. Uh, we'll come. You can I can sit down. Okay. Thank you so much. So, yeah, it's a local spot. As you can see. It's for you or for? It's for it's for me for uh, my YouTube. My life. Your life. Yeah, it's my journey. Yeah. My YouTube journey. Like I, I have a YouTube channel, and I make. Uh, yeah, nice, and I'm nice. showing Marrakesh. You know, nice. different cities in Morocco. You're from Marrakesh? Yes. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You, you, uh, Marrakesh. You, Marrakesh. Good. Yes. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, only for four days. Uh, four days. Tomorrow I go to Tunisia, inshallah. Inshallah, uh, Tunisia. <laughs> yeah. Are you from? Uh, originally, my family is from Pakistan, but I'm from America. Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> I live in America. Pakistan, I like Pakistan. You like Pakistan? I don't I didn't, uh, You have to go. Uh, I didn't go back. I heard about uh, Pakistan. Yeah. I... You know, if you go to Pakistan, they will treat you with. They will welcome you, Marhaba, you know? Yeah. 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 Because, you know, I'm Ahl Moroccan Ahlan, yeah, and you're Muslim, so they will they will make you feel very welcome. Yes. Yeah. So you have to come to Pakistan. Inshallah. 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 I hope that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This lady is such a kind lady, like she sees that I told her I'm not feeling great. So she literally is giving me uh, uh, this kind of powder. She's going to mix it in a soup for me. And it's going to help me clear out my nose because I've been having I like... Mixed this oh, this one. And this. Oh, okay. In a this. soup? Yes. In a soup. Yes. And then I can feel yeah, no problem. Better. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> you, you, you want to try? Yes, please. I need I need it. Yes. I have uh, uh, this I'm too more, much. Uh, the mix. Okay. Yes, and this. Sure, perfect. Yeah, you can uh, smile. Uh, I know this one. This is uh, like a cumin. Yes, the familia. Yeah, I know. Familia, familia the cumin, right? Yes. Yeah. And this one? Ah, this one I know. You can, you can, you it's like can, licorice root. Uh, it's like licorice root. It's like licorice root. Yeah? You can, uh, I know. This one, I know this one. This one we have. Yeah. This one I know. 
Virus, خلاص. Okay. I need this. Please. Mix. Okay. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the soup that's supposed to make me feel better. This lady is like swears by it. So let's see. Mmm. It's like a porridge, as you can see. It's like a porridge. Amazing. Perfect for breakfast, especially when I'm not feeling great. Got the crate, as you can see. She put some honey on it, and that's all you need in the morning. A little bit of crepe, Moroccan tea, some nice soup, clear up the palate. Mm. The honey is from here, the bread is fresh, everything is organically fresh, and that's the beauty of eating anything in Morocco, usually. As you can see, she's whipping the tea up. Shukran. Bismillah. And there it is. This is a real local traditional breakfast here in Morocco on Jumma, Friday. Uh, Mama, this one, how much? Money. Three dirham. Three dirham. And three. Three. And two. Two. So total, it's eight dirham for everything, which is 80 cents. Okay, guys, when you come here, what's your name? You tell Wafa. Wafa. Yes. Guys, when you come here, you support Wafa. She's such a nice lady. Yes. She helped me so much. She helped me uh, with my sickness. She gave me a nice soup. So, inshallah, I will feel better soon. And then I have to come back and thank her. <laughs> I hope to go to uh, in Pakistan uh, one day. She wants to go to Pakistan, so let's let's help her get to Pakistan inshallah. and Mecca, inshallah. Man, what a kind lady, a kind soul. It's people like that when I meet, where I'm like, this is why I love what I do. She was so kind, and you know what? For her limited English, she was able to like express a lot. We had a really good conversation off the camera, and I tend to do that a lot. You know, I don't always have all of everything on camera. Sometimes you got to have conversations off camera. So we did that and it was beautiful. You know, one thing that's also really nice about Morocco is their practice of herbal medicine. Uh, it's really cool because it dates back to like their ancient, ancient history. The Moors used to practice herbal medicine. So you'll see a lot of herbal shops throughout the city. And it's cool because the people actually practice it. So before they go to a pharmacy, before they go to a doctor, they go to a uh, Herbal, herbal relief first, and I'm a, I'm a big proponent of that. They're very wise because they've been around for so long. You know, it'd be really nice. You know, it'd be really nice to uh, to pray at one of the big mosques, Hassan II or the Kotobia mosques. But unfortunately, because of the earthquakes last year here in Marrakesh, you're not able to go in those mosques. But it would be so nice to go in them and make prayer. I'm going to some random mosque here in Jamal Fina area. There's something close by. Shout out, my bro. How you doing? The masjid is actually in the middle of all the madness here in Jamal Fina. But it's a beautiful mosque. And it's cool because you're as soon as you get out, there's everything that you'd ever need. But I'm going to head inside and make prayer. I'll see if I can show you guys the inside. But. All right guys, Friday prayer done. Come outside, there's all this craziness right outside of the mosque. People dancing with cobras and putting monkeys on their shoulders. Very interesting stuff here in uh, Marrakesh. You can find anything here, but you know what would be nice? After this, sat in the mosque for quite some time. I got there a little bit early, so I'm a little bit thirsty. One of these fresh juices would be great. So I'm gonna go and get a fresh juice. 
the best juice in Marrakesh right here, number 51 in Jamal Fina. If you guys go to any other juice shop, I'll be very upset with you. These are my homies, my brothers. But I'm trying to bring them some business. Today, I'm not having any luck. Today, nobody wants to come. Hello, you guys look thirsty. Come try the best juice in Marrakesh. La, la, la. 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 <laughs> so this place is busy, but it's still not as busy as it normally is on a normal day. I would say Fridays. If you want to experience this Jamal Fina a little bit more relaxed, I would say Friday is the best day to come out. This juice is delicious, man. If you come here, make sure you go to my boys. I've been, you've probably seen them in a few of my videos because they are the homies. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's Biba. your name, bro? Uh, Mohammed. Mohammed. Mohammed, and where do you work? What is this? Uh, Tanja, Marrakesh. You're from Tanjir? Yeah. Tanjir is beautiful. Yeah. Tanjawi, Tanjawi people? Tanjawi. Very nice. It's very nice. Shawan. No, Shawan. Chef Shawan also very nice. Shawan peace. I like your people. Chef Shawan. Chef Shawan, very nice. Where are you from? Tiripandi Buddha. I'm, I'm from America. America. Yeah. Oh but, my Pakistani. God. Marhaba, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. The people of Pakistan is Tiripandi nice Buddha. people. Guys, very, very you heard welcome. of them. You're welcome very to welcome You're welcome to Marrakesh. Welcome to Morocco. I thank you for Morocco. And make sure when Pakistan. Thank you, Habibi. Make sure when you come to Morocco, you come to Tangier. That's my homey city. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, welcome, brother. Yeah, welcome to America for her. Mafia. Uh, no mafia, welcome. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Habibi. So I'm gonna stop and get a little bit of lunch. Salam alaikum. Kifala. Sabah Sorry, me, Arbi, shwe shwe. English? English, yeah. Okay? I'm speaking English. So, guys, when you come to Marrakesh, you have to try. What is your specialty? Like a shawarma? What is the specialty? In, in Marrakesh. In you, your shop. In me? Yeah, your uh, shop. I, 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 I love it, Tajin. Tajin? Yeah, but you don't make tajin here. Oh, yeah, fast food. Yeah, so I want to try your best sandwich. Best of me. The taco. Yeah. yeah. The taco is... Which yum. one is that? It's that. Tacos? Yeah. But tacos is uh, not like... It's tacos like... Tacos or PSG. It's... What is PSG? PSG is... Uh, of the milk, fresh ah, toast, yeah. with fresh toast. Okay, like it it's like a cheese. like a panini almost. No, like panini is Ah, okay, okay. Let me try the PSG with uh, pule is uh, chicken, right? Yeah, chicken. Yeah, yeah with PSG with uh, pule. Pule one. You like it with French fries too? With French fries on the side. On the side. Ah, not in the sandwich. No. And no olives. Yeah, okay. But other than that, the sauce, Andalusia, all yeah, of okay. that is very good. Awesome. What's your name, Habibi? Mohammed. Mohammed. This is your shop. Yeah. You own this? Yeah. What's the name? Chesli Mima. Chesli Mima. What is the meaning of that? The Mima in Morocco, it's my mother. Oh, it's your mother? My mother, yeah. Well, much respect. I you see that? <laughs> you see that, guys? He named his business after his mother. That's how you know he's a good man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, how long have you guys been in business here? Yeah, two, 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 two years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah, two years. And how's it going? Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah? So guys, when you come to Marrakesh, this is actually one of the spots that stands out on the souk. I welcome everybody. Is this the souk? Yeah. This yeah, is the souk, yeah. right? Which souk? Bule Beda. Bule Beda. This is the biggest souk, right? Yeah, big souk, yeah. So guys, when you come to Bule Beda, come to Ches Limima and support my brother here. Thank you. What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. Come support Muhammad and his business. And we're going to try some sandwich. Thank you. This is, so any shawarma from Morocco usually is good, man. I mean, in my experience, every sandwich that I've tried, the bread is good, the ingredients, the vegetables are fresh, the chicken is good. Everything is usually good. You can stop into any sandwich shop, but some of them are a little bit more special than the others. So let's see. Amazing. Amazing. Shukran. So this has a little bit of a barbecue sauce in it. Tastes like uh, some A1 steak sauce type of type of uh, thing, and then has this sauce as well. It's pretty good. By the way, the sandwich only costs 18 dirham, which is like 1.8 dollars, uh, 1.8 euro. So you can get these. You can live off of these if you want. And look at my view. There's people driving by. So guys, I'm back at the lady who gave me the, the soup to fix me, and it did fix me. Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. Look. Yeah. I look good? Yeah. Shukran. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wallahi, I feel better. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Next time. 
Thank you so much. Uh, I'm here, yeah. 7 o'clock early. Guys, if you ever need a cure, come to come to uh, this place. She will... Uh, Wafa, no? Yes. Wafa. Wafa will take care of you. Soup with... Uh, with soup, with the cumin yes. and, the, and the, the other one. Yes. Yeah. What's Zatan. the name? Zatan. Zatan, yeah. Yes. So she can take care of you if you're ever sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shukran. Welcome. Salaam Sala alaikum. Thank you. Everybody. Everybody, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Salaam. So yeah, guys. Um, I just wanted to go back because she was like, I want to know if you feel better. She did give me that soup earlier in the video, if you saw. And I do feel a lot better, man. So natural medicine does work if you, uh, if you allow yourself to use it. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you, you know, an idea of how Juma is here in Marrakesh, in Morocco. It's a lot more chill on Friday, so I really enjoyed it. Uh, this will be my last video from Morocco. I uh, had a wonderful time in this country. Unfortunately, I have to go as my life is like that thank you <laughs> and um yeah guys it's been wonderful i mean i guess one way to describe morocco would be welcoming the people is like just marhaba marhaba everybody will welcome you if you come to this country it doesn't matter who you are where you come from they're just welcoming they're, they're so kind with each other the people are just great and that's what makes this country so amazing as as well as the history the architecture the culture the food everything but the main thing for me is always how the people are and the people are just amazing. I will definitely be back in Morocco sometime soon and um, I urge all of you, don't ever leave Morocco out of your travel plans. With that being said, guys, remember, continue to learn, continue to grow and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.